Welcome back to Walnut Springs. This is part two of a build series that I'm doing in my backyard trail. Last week, I cut in a brand new trail that I call the drop-in. Now a few years back, I built this zip line tower for my kids and I figured it's the perfect place to create a drop-in. This treehouse has been so much fun to zip line off of, and soon it'll be fun to mountain bike off of. All right, so what the plan is, is this is the beginning of the drop-in trail, as you guys saw from part one. You'll be coming into here, and as you approach this tree right here, there's going to be a real gradual ramp that's gonna go all the way up to the new part of the platform, which is the same height as the current platform. And then once you get up there, you will be able to drop in from this side platform will be right here and it'll be a much steeper drop in i'm super pumped to be doing this i'm going to go ahead and get started on it i think this might take me a few days to do but i've got a plan and i got some wood i've got some screws and i got a little bit of time let's do it first step in this process was to remove some of the old 2x4s and then replace it with the longer 2x6 that will be the perfect length and size for the new decking I want to add on. This part of the build went really smooth. With that other platform already in place, it was really easy just to add on to the structure. Just like building any mountain bike feature, putting the decking on really transforms the way that this stuff looks. Makes it feel like you're making a lot of progress really fast. After I got the decking on, I had to do a little bit of trimming just so whenever you're standing up on the deck, you're not getting hit by leaves and branches. After I got the decking done and trimming up those trees just a little bit, I was able to start on the on-ramp. This ramp is about 15 feet long and it's nice and gradual, easy to walk up and easy to ride up. I wanted to add some extra bracing on this. I knew that there could potentially be a lot of weight and stress on it, so I added bracing at the top and bracing down the side. In the end, this thing turned out to be really stable. clean up of the edges with the circular saw and I'll be ready to start adding some railing. Now if you guys have been watching my channel for a while and you haven't already subscribed, why don't you go ahead and subscribe as I got several of these builds coming up throughout this summer and I would love to have you on this adventure with me. And don't forget, click that like button while you're at it. Once I completed the railing, I just cut off all the excess board that was sticking up on top of the railing just to make it look a little cleaner. Now, it's time to get to the fun part, the drop-in. I have ridden several drop-ins from several different mountain bike parks, and I kind of had an idea of what I wanted to do, but I didn't have an exact measurement. So I just kind of eyeballed it and said, you know what, I think I can ride that. To make this have a little bit of a twist, I angled it just a little bit, just so it would line up with the trail perfectly. 
I think it added to the look of it and the fun factor whenever you ride down it. Now that we got the ramp done, I need to carve out the trail a little bit more and pile up a little bit of dirt at the bottom so it's a nice smooth transition when you drop in. The drop in is almost complete. With just a couple more boards and a few small railings, it'll be ready to ride. But first, I wanna power wash the entire platform. This was all made with reclaimed wood, so it's a little bit dirty and it could use a good cleaning. Let's do it. I'm really happy with how this wood is cleaning up. Power Washer did an awesome job. Now, let me introduce you to the drop-in. I've been dreaming about building this drop-in for a couple of years and it's finally done. Now the only thing to do is to ride it. Dropping in. Oh man, here we go. Woo. Yeah. Oh man, that's awesome. So here's the actual line that you'll go down. Man, you get such good speed. Whew. That was awesome. All right, let's do it again. Let's go a little slower this time, just to see what that's like. <laughs> yes. I've had a lot of really big builds on my trail system, but this one is definitely the biggest and probably the fastest. I am really enjoying building this trail line, the drop-in. It has been a ton of fun already and I have a lot planned for it. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below. What do you think of this feature? And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I've got a lot of videos coming and I definitely put out videos every week. And as always, get out there, run, bike, build, and just have fun. We'll see you in the next one.